My name is Amy Hellman. I attended medical school here at UNMC. Then I moved to California and did my neurology residency at the UC Davis Medical Center in Sacramento. After that, I moved to the East Coast and attended fellowship in movement disorders at the University of Pennsylvania and the Philadelphia VA. Some of the things I treat include Parkinson's disease and other causes of tremor, including essential tremor. I also treat different disorders of walking and balance, including uh, ataxia, which can be an inherited or a non-inherited uh, disorder. Um, and I treat different causes of extra or involuntary movements that can range from anything from the inherited disease Huntington's disease uh, to uh, things like dystonia and uh, tics and Tourette's syndrome. I am able to treat using uh, both medications and uh, more supportive therapies, including psychotherapies. And uh, we, I work with neurosurgery for deep brain stimulation therapy. I like being involved in both research and education to both uh, help kind of the next generation of healthcare professionals uh, learn and train to be uh, uh, the best that they can be, and also to be involved with um, how our medical knowledge is always growing and being right on, on the tip of that so that I can more quickly implement that into my patient care and, and make sure I'm giving the, the optimal patient care at all times. It was kind of a, a gradual process, my decision to go into medicine and become a doctor. I first realized I was interested in medicine actually when my mom got sick when I was in high school. And after that, it was, it was, I knew I wanted to do something in medicine, but it, was, it took a few years for me to kind of narrow in on, on the fact that I wanted to be a doctor. Outside of work, I spend a lot of time with my dog and my 10-month-old nephew. I also like uh, quiet activities like knitting uh, and yoga um, and uh, spending time outside when the weather is nice enough. One of my favorite things about being a neurologist is being able to uh, educate my patients on what's going on with them and why uh, these things are happening to them and what, what we can do about it and why we do those things. Um, it's something that a lot of people outside of medicine and even outside of neurology don't necessarily know because a lot of things are fairly rare. So I get to do a lot of education, which is a lot of fun.